Big Harbor. The Magic 18 starts, adventure awaits. It is glorious out here. It's about 5 a.m. Already light out, of course. We got a lot of gear. We got the board down there already. A couple backpacks. Get this show on the road. Workout just getting, getting everything stowed. We're not even on the water yet, but we got her. It is 5.59. We will be on the water at exactly 6 a.m. There's gonna be rad. Look at all this gear. On a day of first, definitely the most gear I paddled with. All right, we are just coming, just coming out of Gig Harbor. Feeling pretty good. 6.13, just about getting warmed up. Beautiful, another 12 hours of this. All the way over there is Tacoma. Started the 7048. We got some dolphins out there. Isn't that amazing? I don't know if you can see them, but look at that, so glorious. We have not even gone a mile. Already have to take a shirt off. This one is also probably gonna be too warm, but let's plug along for another mile. Great, about the middle of Colville's Passage probably. Yeah, about five miles, maybe not quite the middle. Making good progress though. About an hour, a little more than an hour in. Averaging around anywhere from four to four to six, four to six miles per hour. Been getting close to six here and uh, got a little, little bit of wind behind us. Not quite the wind I was hoping for. A Little bit of current assist, so. Feeling good, feeling strong, feeling warm. Probably gonna have to like drop another layer or something, but maybe we can get to uh, Southworth and do a do another costume change up there. You go and you go down to Southworth and back or something. Sorry. You go down to Southworth and back. Uh, it's just that channel marker. Just the channel marker. Yeah. <gasps> right I on. Noticed that there's a pretty good tailwind. I got a fight now. <laughs> yeah, I was noticing that. It's not quite what I was expecting, but it's a good one. Yeah, yeah. And like, I think about 3 p.m., 4 p.m., I'm gonna get hit in the face, but <laughs> we'll see. All right, man. Hey, you have a good one, enjoy. Yeah, keep it up. Hey, absolutely. <laughs> Another 10 hours of this. <laughs> easy, super easy. Coming into shore here on Vashon. Gonna put the rash guard on and get this uh, long underwear shirt off. A few more miles till we are out of Colville's Passage. You can see the ferry up there. Southworth and Blake Island is right there is Blake Island. Not very helpful with the finger. Glorious, look at this. Yeah, love it. We can see Southworth. Got a little bit of a tailwind, which is nice about 10 miles in here feeling good feeling strong a couple hours i think we're going to be right on schedule maybe a little bit ahead yeehaw i want to say thanks to all my donors also want to say thanks to my main little guy who gave me this friendship bracelet because he's my best buddy and every time i see it i think of him and i think of the kids who i'm doing it for doing good we have hit our first checkpoint this is Southworth. We're actually about half an hour ahead of schedule. It is 9.28. We have been paddling for about three and a quarter hours. We've gone between 14 and 15 miles. Feeling good, feeling strong. I haven't gone to Billy Island. It's gonna be rad. Away we go. Perfect. Exactly 10.01. 10.01 a.m. We are at Blake Island. Gonna take a little break. Have some bagel for breakfast and maybe a nut bar. There's the water spigot and there's Seattle. First stop for water here on the 7048, water spigot. And there is Bainbridge. Little crossing, I think it's like two, three miles. Let's go do it. Southern end of Bainbridge. 
that is the uh, the Blake Island Bainbridge crossing. I have to look up the name of the channel. Thank you, Adam Tischler, for the uh, heads up. I knew it was going to be a confused mess of current shop out here, but always good to have heads up from buddies and uh, definitely help me be more prepared for it. And I'm getting swept the other way, so let's get around that point. Lots of current, messy current. Sun's coming out. We are about 20 miles into this thing. It's time to get some sunglasses on, have some electrolytes. I still feel good, still feel pretty strong. That Blake Island crossing made me feel a little little less strong. But uh, but now I think we're we're back to back to clean current and a little bit of a tailwind, although it is a little bit more off to the side than than I would prefer, but hey, it'll work. It's like a park or a or something. Gosh, look at this super cool rock too. Look at that. How rad. How rad. Nature's own little seawall. So beautiful. There goes the Bainbridge Island Ferry. Never quite sure what way they're going. Always glad when they turn by. Yeehaw. And the other Bremerton Ferry. Boy, the sea state has certainly deteriorated. A lot of, lot of wake, a lot of wind, a lot of waves, a lot of boats. I think hopefully once we get around that point, maybe it'll get a little bit better. Goodness, goodness, we're down to uh, averaging like three, three to three and a half miles an hour. Pretty, pretty tedious. We're getting there though. Crossing another spot on Bainbridge. All this reflection off the seawall, that's what makes it a tumultuous mess out here. Goodness, making progress. in the middle of Bainbridge Island. Actually, maybe not the middle. I think Fay Bainbridge. I think Fay Bainbridge is like right over, right over yonder. I'm gonna eat this bagel, take a little break. Still feeling strong, but a little bit more tired than when I started. Got this wind going sideways now too, which is uh, not as fast as when it was behind us, but feeling good. Feeling good. Logging on. It's the adventure. Definitely glad I took that little break. Definitely some carbs, some salts, blood sugars. Feel much better now. Let's make our way through this rock garden. One over there. We got a couple there. I'm putting the camera away. Bay Bainbridge. It is almost seven hours, about 29 miles. Cruising, starting to feel a little bit tired. We got a left knee that might want to sit down for a minute. And the fingertips, or the fingernails rather, for whatever reason, probably just pressing on them a bunch. But uh, they look fine, but ow. All right, it is 2 p.m., a little bit behind schedule, but considering we're out here paddling and we started at 6 a.m. That's actually pretty darn close to what I guessed. So wind wind has come up. I thought it was supposed to be coming against me, but this is actually kind of nice. Made it to Indianola. Let's go get a soda. Stairs. I hate stairs. I love battleboarding. Stairs. Ugh. That's pretty rad. I don't know who those boards are. Indianola Country Store. Ain't that quaint. 
They got a bunch of stuff. Barks root beer. Freshment brought to you by Barks. Oh, I love stores. I will not bow to any sponsor. It's like people only do things because they get paid. Getting close to home, bumping into people that know the people that we know. That, uh, that clerk in there knew Medhani. How rad. Cool dude. Winds come up. Well, I waited too long uh, on my break and my watch auto saved. So that was 32.11 miles. Now we gotta go clock 8.89. Uh, Check the wind. It doesn't look like it's gonna die down. If anything, it's actually gonna get stronger. So I think rather than go to Kingston, which is gonna just be straight up wind, the other option is to go to Polsbo. Polsbo's probably like eight miles. I hate to bail on the 7048 course, but 15 plus mile an hour winds and white caps coming right into your face is not a fun time make. We'll see, we'll see. I'm gonna lay here, chill out, just relax and think. A lot of waves, a lot of wind, white caps. We're gonna go and be flexible and go with the flow and let nature dictate our course and not paddle into a windstorm. We're gonna go get our eight more miles like in Polsbo Bay or something. And go to Polsbo, it's less driving too. This right here is Suquamish. Love this place, great place to come and paddle. Got this cool little dock, whoa. Great community, beautiful. I am absolutely glad to be t to be done with all those waves. So many waves. You can see the boats out there are just flying. We are now going towards Polsbo. Look how beautiful that is. It seems like so the right way, so glorious. I'm put some sunblock on my ears and hit this hit this water. Well, I definitely seem to be in an eddy. A bunch of muck just right here. Interesting. Weird. Definitely still bucking some current here. Was averaging about three, three miles an hour coming through here. And uh, we're back up to 4.6 now that we got uh, no waves. Well, here comes some boat wake. Definitely some boat wake. I'm gonna have to catch that and surf it. Let's see if I can get an assist. Four and a half miles left. We are out behind Bainbridge Island. There's a seal over there doing like some acrobatics. He's having a grand old time. Look at that dude. He's having fun. Like playing around. But I'm gonna keep going before I get blown into shore. We are close. Close. Getting tired. I'm getting the shakes in the legs. Or at least one leg. Whoo! All right, this is the point to go to Palsbo. Of course, I come into shore right as there's some boat wake. But I'm gonna take a little break here. 5.2 miles thus far. Hour and a half since uh, Indianola. Whew. My brain's definitely tired. My head is tired. My body still feels okay. My legs are definitely tired. I'm getting the shakes every, God, where I go like three miles and then my legs start getting all twitchy and stuff. So another, another like three, three, four miles or something. Three and a half miles, close. Let people know we're coming into Paul's bow. Pretty rad, came across all those seals, didn't even notice them. All right, there is Paul's bow, I can finally see it. It's our destination, I got tired and actually miscalculated. So we are only like a quarter mile away from 40. That looks more than a quarter mile away. I still feel strong. I just feel brain dead and tired. Boy, 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 this is it. It's like almost 42 miles. Thank you, Seagull. 42. 42. 42. 42. The answer to the ultimate question. To life, the universe, everything. Yes, yes, I thought it over quite thoroughly. It is, it's 42. So we got it from, from Indianola. It's like two and a half hours. I'm gonna put some dry clothes on. We got the ride on the way. And uh, we're gonna unpack all this stuff so I can actually carry my board up there. 
pulls bow, pulls bow. I can't really dance with this held out. I can't, I can, I can do this. I can go pulls, but yeah, I can't dance. It's a good paddle. That was like a paddle and a half. That's a whole lot of paddling. Um, I have to do some math. I'm gonna go put dry clothes on. I'm tired. I love it when a plan comes together. I love it when a plan comes together. I love it when a plan comes together. Dad finally lost it. I, I'm loopy, but for, it's 7.33 p.m. now. And for doing a 42 mile paddle across water, waters that I've never paddled before. Some, I paddled Bainbridge and Colvos. Okay, I paddled a lot of it. Fine, never mind. But for, for you know, a paddle of that distance to hit my mark pretty much exactly. I was almost to, uh, to fade Bainbridge, like when I expected to. So, you know, I'm, I'm pretty proud of myself for my calculations. Four, four miles an hour moving on average, probably. I think I probably averaged longer than that, but with breaks and things like that. My, my calculations, I took a lot of breaks. My calculations are pretty on. My hands feel good, no blisters. Look at that. My body feels good. I'll probably, I don't know, I'm evenly, I'll probably feel good tomorrow, as a matter of fact. This all day. I could do this all day. I could do this all day. I could do this all day. My brain's tired. I'm out of excitement. I mean, that's not true. It's still exciting, but I miss my kids and I'm out of daylight. And I mean, you know, sun's going down. It's kind of like, yeah, let's, let's be done before sunset. Perfect. Just gonna wait here until somebody picks up this poor old paddle water. It's just a joke. Oh, I get it. I get joke. No, I, I called for a ride. They're coming. They're coming. I'm gonna go pack up my gear. What a rad day. How gratifying, how awesome. Yeah, right? 42 miles, answer to life, the universe, and everything. Good for me. I brought my straps. How about that? All right, maybe maybe I lied a little bit. My hands are not entirely, entirely fine. I just didn't notice. Last time I was here, it was about this light, except that it was the morning. Now it's the evening. Now it's like almost nine o'clock. There's my car, it's still here, nobody towed it. <laughs> it looks weird without a board on top. What a rad day. All the stuff back in the car, board on top. Let's not get hit for a car. Get, let's not get hit by a car before we go home. God, I'm tired. I'm going home, rad. That's all, folks. That's all, folks.